dead, dead. Yeah, what's up? Uh, what are you doing? Just watching this video, this guy making a motorcycle. Tell me what this guy's name is. Jaron? Jeroen Brokos. Jeroen Brokos. And I know that's wrong. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's phonetic like Welsh. Jeroen. I'm gonna go with Jeroen Brokos. Jeroen Brokos. Jer Jeroen. Jeroen Brokos. Jeroen Brokos. Jeroen Brokos. Jerome Brockhus. Jerome Brockhus. Jerome. Ah. It's Dutch. Ah. Uh, Jerome Brockhus. Close? Jerome Brockhus. From Dutch Shed Builds. Peace. That's it. Jerome Brockhus. Oh. You tell me. Thanks. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Dutch Shed Builds. My name is Jeroen Broekhuis. And this episode is all gonna be about the trailer I'm gonna build. So it's gonna be a couple of episodes, check it out. And again guys, thank you very much for helping me out. Cool intro. This is a uh, caravan, or a uh, vouwagen, as they say in Dutch, which basically means a foldable car. Inside, there is a tent, and people use this to go on holiday. And I've been on one of many holidays with a car like this. Uh, but I'm not in it for the tent. I'm in it for the frame underneath. I'm going to build a small trailer to put behind my car, and so that I can move the bikes around get them to a shop if they need repairs or uh, take them out somewhere where I can ride them. So that's gonna be the plan. I'm gonna take off the entire top and redo this entire car and make a trailer out of it. Run the, through this, as you can see, still got the lights, but this one's broken. And these are just normal lights. And I've already got some LEDs for this. So I'm gonna take these off and uh, put on some new lights. Now I think I'm gonna use this gray paneling to make like a, a gutter to run the wheel in. That is the plan. As you can see, this is what it's all about. That's a lovely frame. Now these are the tires. They are small, but they are still fairly okay. <coughs> it's missing a uh, wheel at the front. So I got one, um, mount that to the front over here. It's got a brake, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I think this can be removed as well. I want to be able to stow this somewhere in the shed over here. So either on this side or there. Uh, and it needs to be as light as possible because I'm gonna tow this behind the electric car, so. But first things first, everything on top, it has to go. So let's have a look inside. I have no idea what's underneath here. inside the trailer. This is the kitchen. But we're gonna get rid of it, all of that. More stuff in here. <laughs> it's even got my get some coffee. Oh, cooker. Electric cables again. And gear and toilet paper. So Good to go here. <laughs> it's gonna go. I'm gonna get rid of it all. So it's uh, been quite a 
little treasure hunt. Found this uh, spare wheel. This is what you use to uh, inflate a boat. Oh, we've got a boat. Got a nice broom. All these wires. That's a good find. Go to the cooker. Yeah, we'll get that to charity. Rummy cube. everything off so it should be free now So the frame is now completely stripped and this is what I'm working with. That is absolutely brilliant. It's exactly what I needed. So the cool part is, I didn't know that, but I think if I remove uh, these two bolts, maybe put in a pin, I can easily remove this front end, which will of course make the trailer a lot shorter when I want to store it but I'm gonna try if I can turn this into the tray to run on the bike if you know what I mean I'm just gonna think about that for a minute because on this inside as you can see it's got a nice curve to it so if I cut this one and cut that one and then put it back together and I've got a free tray. So here's the wheel chuck I'm going to use. This is the wheel that came off the trailer and as you can see it's round so you can, you can put the round on both edges. This is the other side. Check the wheel the hub and as you can see I'll show you it is <laughs> it's got a lot of play so it's been wibbling and wobbling behind the car like that so the bearing is shot in this so I need to replace that I've never done this before, so it's been a bit of a journey, but YouTube helps out. These are the bearings that came out of it. Now this thing is, it's okay really. I don't think it was actually really damaged, but I'm gonna replace it anyway. And this was the one that was absolutely shot. There were no, well like two, two little, uh, how do you call it? Steel balls in there, and this is gone. So I got new bearings. So that one is going to go here somehow. This bearing is going to go in here, and we need to push that down as well. And then the seal 
that was okay. I actually saved this. This seal was fine. Don't need to change that. And I got some new caps at the end because I really screw up the other one trying to get it out. So that is it for this episode. I hope you like it. Episode number two will be coming up shortly. Um, yeah, and we'll keep building that beautiful tread. I think it's coming out really nice. So uh, please, till next time, episode number two on the trailer. And again, guys, thank you very much for helping out with a cool intro. All right, bye bye. I'm an American and we mispronounce everything. Jeroen Brockius. I'm putting my money on it. Ah, Jerome Brookhouse.